what is up everybody tonight we are going to be striper fishing um this will be our first trip since losing our gopro so uh i'll explain all that later in this uh, video but before we get to that here's the rigs that we're going to be using today all right so for tonight's striper trip we are going to keep it simple like we always do um the weather has kind of turned for the worse um it's been below freezing and very windy recently, so I'm kind of expecting the fish to be a little more lethargic than they have been, you know, in weeks prior to this when we had warmer water. But that being said, we're not really going to change much up other than uh, how we work the baits. But before we get to that, I'm just going to show you, I'm bringing two rods with me. One is going to have a VMC Moon Eye Jig. And about 18 inches a liter, 12 inches up, there's going to be a Gamagatsu 3.0 hook. Um, it's your simple fluke rig. My other rod's going to have the same exact setup, except for I'm going to be using a Northeast Jig Company uh, jig, half ounce. And I'm going to be using their uh, Magic Mullet with it. Now, we'll start with number one, the Moon Eye Jig. Uh, I ordered these last year in bulk. Really like the way they look. Um, they're not bad. My only, you know, critique of this is the hook is not very big. It's not very, like, I guess you would say sturdy, as you can see. I mean, just to compare it to a Northeast Jig Company uh, jig. Ooh, just stuck myself. I mean, you could see the difference in thickness right there. And... That's my only critique. Now, I have caught a ton of fish. I mean, as you could tell, this, this jig's been, you know, through the wire. Um, you know, we used this last time we were striper fishing, which was last week. Um, probably caught maybe 40 to 50 fish on it. The paint has started to chip, but, I mean, I mean, for a jig, I can't really complain. Now, if you're wondering what uh, bait I have on it, it's one of these... Uh, Bass Pro Shop Speed Shads. Um, believe they call this Sight Fish is the color. And this is a three inch one. I do have four inch ones too. Um, but I'm going to start with the three inch, see how that works. If, you know, we're not having success, we might move up in size. But uh, I tested these out on a kayak trip back in October and had a ton of success. So figure let's match that success and use, you know, these tonight. Now, uh, my next one that I'll be using is the Northeast Jig Company half ounce uh, eye jig and then pairing it with their Magic Mullet. Now, they come in, you know, I believe packs of seven. I only have two left. Last time I was fishing, I was using these and had an absolute uh, ball. I do notice two distinct differences with these two baits. They both are similar in the sense that they have, you know, the same paddle tail. Um, but they have their own unique qualities that I like in both of them. So I'm going to be trying both of them tonight. Um, more than likely just casting and retrieving. If it seems like it's a little bit slower, I might work it on the bottom, pitch it out and, you know, jig it back. Um, both work very well for both of those techniques. Now, if you're wondering what, uh, pound test we're using, we just have your basic 20 pound mono. I mean, I stocked up on this Black Friday. I mean, a, a roll of 250 yards was $1.97, so you can't really beat that. I mean, the odds I'm going to go through 250 yards in a, in a year, slim to none. But um, personally, I, I don't think you need fluorocarbon for this type of fishing. The water has been so turbid and dirty that, I mean, you could barely even see the jig sometimes a half a foot down. So... Stay tuned. I'm going to pack up the truck and we're going to head out, hopefully get some fish. All right. So for tonight's video, we are going to be using two different setups. Our first one, which we showed you earlier, is just a moon eye jig, half ounce with the Bass Pro Shop Speed Shad. And then on the top, we have a Berkeley Gulp Swimming Mullet. On the other rod, we are going to be using Northeast Jig Company's half ounce jig with their three and a half inch magic mullet. And 
at the top we got our Berkeley Gulp Swim mullet. Now, all right, so goal for tonight, just have a good time and hopefully catch some stripers. I mean, we really are down to 15 days in the season and then it closes and it's just a killer because from January 1st, to February 28th, man. There, it's probably the longest stretch of the year, in my opinion, to go, you know, two months without being able to target these fish. But, you know, it's not saying we won't catch any during the winter because we do catch them uh, when we do go, you know, cat fishing and perch fishing, but we're not targeting them like we are right now. In fact, you gotta be very careful because um, if you are targeting stripers out of season and get caught, it's a pretty hefty fine. And in my opinion, not worth it. You know, no fish is worth the amount of money that they fine you for, you know, breaking the law. All right, so tonight the weather is very brisk. It is, you know, 31, feels like 26. I mean, you can see your breath, very cold air. In fact, um, the only bad thing about when it drops like this is your hands get so cold quickly, especially if they get wet. But uh, we're gonna fight through it tonight. Water temperatures just hovering in the high 40s, low 50s. Um, I'm going to leave my deeper sonar down for a little bit so that we can actually get an accurate uh, surface temperature reading. Um, and I do do that every video. I might not show you, but uh, te water temperature is one of the biggest factors, in my opinion, in determining where fish are and, you know, how they're feeding. It dictates a lot of uh, fishing. Take a cast this way. There we go, fish. Yeah. Nice little striper. Swing him in. Well, no skunk, right? Yeah. Yep. Alright, we are going to let this beautiful little specimen go off it goes All right. oh there we go son let's go Freaking go another one. Oh yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Come to Papa. Whoa, there we go. Alright, man. Start out slow. Yep. Let's get this guy off the hook. I will. I'm going to let this guy go. Off he goes. Got him. Oh, let's go. He hit it right on the jig. Whoa. Man, look at this big. Whoa. 
Heck yeah, man. I hit the Northeast Jig Company. Magic mullet. Beautiful fish. Off it goes. Well, you guys at home might be asking yourselves, why is this guy fishing in freezing temperatures for small stripers? And the answer is very simple. There's only 16 days left. Actually 15 by the time I get home and go to bed, there's gonna be 15 days left to actually be able to target these fish until March 1st. Um, in the state of New Jersey, you cannot target striped bass in you know estuaries, bays, rivers, um, anything pretty much within three miles, I believe. Actually, I'm sorry, anything in the back bay and rivers and estuaries. I think the only open season is like zero to three miles off the beach, which typically isn't that great in the winter time. Oh, there we go. Got one right there, literally right beneath me. Little guy. Got another one right, same spot. Nice. Oh, a little bigger. That's a nicer fish, man. Oh, yeah. That's a real nicer fish. My, uh, yeah, there we go. Let's get this bad boy back in the water. Got a little guy. Holy moly. This might be a world record. IGFA right here. This is the one when you, you hook them, man, you're looking for the gaff and the shotgun. Look at this poor little guy. All right, let's let him go. Alright guys, that's all the time we have tonight. I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, um, if you're not a subscriber, click subscribe down below. Um, leave a comment, let me know what you thought. And stay tuned, man. Uh, 2021 is going to be a big year for us. I got a lot of big changes coming up, so stay tuned for those. Have a good night.